Hey there, it's me again. Today I thought I might show how to make a YouTube thumbnail um, using PowerPoint. I have created YouTube thumbnails for my work in the past, but I actually used Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> but when I thought about it, I realized that showing it in Adobe Illustrator might not be fully effective since most people don't have those kind of softwares because they cost quite a bit of money and therefore they aren't really accessible to everybody who you know might not get them through their job like me. <laughs> so if I didn't have those softwares and I was starting out on YouTube, I would be using PowerPoint. So um, I just have a new presentation opened here. The version I'm using is PowerPoint 2016. I'm one of those latest and greatest people. I just tend to like to have the newest version. Plus this version has more colors than the last one, which I appreciate. <laughs> so um, this is a blank slide. The first thing you're going to want to do um, is check the size of your slide. Um, a YouTube thumbnail is supposed to be 1280 by 720 pixels. I'm just going to write that out. Now, if you had a fancy program, you would actually be able to use pixels as a measurement. Um, however, most programs don't use pixels because stuff like this, um, using PowerPoint, it's not directly made for the web, um, so it's going to be using inches. Um, but inches for these pixels is 13.3 um, by 7.5 inches. So um, we're going to be using this one. Luckily, PowerPoint has a setting that automatically gives you this 13.3 by 7.5 inches. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Design. You're going to go over here to Customize. It's going to have a slide size. If you are at Standard right now, which a lot of you might be, you're going to want to quick quick click Wide Screen. And this automatically sets it to have a... Um, a width and height that match the pixels that we want. So now that we have that set, um, we're just going to try to start with a blank screen. So let's get rid of the text on here. Whoops. Let's get rid of everything on here. Okay. <laughs> now that we have that all deleted, right now we have a plain white slide. Um, I've mentioned that in my other video. I tend to like to have a white background for a lot of things um, to just kind of show, you know, sharpness, have clean, um, have it be clean. But if you want a different color, you just go to format background and you can add a completely different color to just fill the entire thing. Um, you could even add a picture to fill the entire thing, a texture to fill the entire thing, um, polka dots, uh, little type things. <laughs> um, but for now, let's just do um, a solid white. Right now, I have grids and guides um, enabled uh, to just make sure that everything's centered the way I want it. You can have those enabled or you cannot. I just tend to like to have them there because I like everything to be exactly perfect. <laughs> So here we have a blank screen here. Um, now we're going to want to start adding stuff. Now the thing about YouTube thumbnails is that um, it's going to show up in widescreen, but it's going to show the entire thing. So if you have text on here, you're going to want to make sure that it's really big um, if you want people to be able to read it just from the thumbnail. So um, if we're going to put the title of the video, for instance, um, and we put in our text box here, If we have it this size um, and we have it in the center here, no one's going to be able to read that when it actually becomes a thumbnail because the thumbnail is going to consist of this entire box right here. So we're going to want to make this a lot bigger. Now, if we center this, a lot more people are going to be able to see the title of our video when they just see the thumbnail itself. Now, a lot of people do like to have 
pictures as the background, especially of themselves. <laughs> I don't particularly like to have pictures of myself anywhere, just because I don't tend to like pictures of myself. <laughs> I'm not one of those extremely photogenic people. So let's try and just use different pictures. So let's go to an image search. And let's say we want some flowers on our background. So this is automatically um, filtered to only give you um, Creative Commons licenses, which means that um, you are able to redistribute them. Um, you want to make sure that when you're using a picture from the internet that you're using something that's licensed to be redistributed. Uh, otherwise, you might have people getting angry at you saying, why are you using my picture? <laughs> Just because it's on Google doesn't mean that it is compliant. So I like this one. So let's use this. Or not. Let's use a different one since it will let me download that. I like this one. Let's use this one. Okay, it's inserting. There we go. Okay, now that we have this picture, we want to make it our background. We're going to snap it. And you could just drag it out like this. That actually doesn't look too bad. But typically, it's going to take away a lot of the integrity of the photo. So you're going to want to make it fill rather than fit. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to extend it past so that the edges are here. Now this edge might not be all the way there. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop this now. Right there's the edge of the video. So now we have this fit to the side and we didn't ruin the integrity of the photo. So I want my title back on top of this, so we're going to grab here, we're going to say send to back. And now that we're looking at it, we see that, uh, this doesn't show up very well, does it? So we're going to want to make this white. That shows up a little bit better. Maybe if we move it around, it'll help. Hmm. That's better. Let's bold it too. Like I said, I like it to be centered. So now we have a nice full picture background with the title of our video here. Um, if we wanted to do something a little bit different, say, we have our title of our video. But we want the background to be not completely blank, but maybe have a little something. Let's do a gradient fill. A little ombre there for you. <laughs> and then we want maybe some other text or we want little pictures. Like maybe this is a tutorial on how to use a certain computer software. So why don't we just search like Adobe Premiere. There's that logo. We're going to stick that in here. And then maybe we want to have the subtitle of the video so people know that this is a Premiere Pro video, but it's how to say add in zooms. We're going to create another text box. And then again, we're going to want to make this text a lot bigger. But not as big as the, not as big of the title because we want this to be uh, a subtitle. So let's center that just because I like to center it. And now we have another, another thumbnail that can be used. So um, once you've created it how you like it, um, you're going to go to File. You're going to say Save As. You're going to name it. 
you're going to save it as a PNG. You can also save it as a JPEG, I'm sure. Um, I just tend to use PNGs. Um, they seem to be a little bit of an easier file to work with. So there it is, that's as a picture. So then all you have to do is go to YouTube, go to edit your video, and then you're just gonna select your thumbnail and it'll be on there. And so it's just a nice, easy way of creating thumbnails if you don't like their ones they are using and standing out from the crowd a little more, but not having to break the bank by using a software that you don't know how to use and it's too expensive for most people to have just for home use. Hope you liked this and I'll talk to you later.